What is a flyaway rail guide and when would you use one? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video on model rocketry. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. A flyaway rail guide is something that I developed after studying what NASA uses to launch sounding rockets. Um, basically, they don't use a launch lug like we do. They use a clamp that goes around the outside of the rocket that slides onto the rail and then releases as the rocket takes off. Now, why would you use a launch uh, flyaway rail guide? Um, and the reason is right here is to get rid of these, the launch lugs. If we can get rid of the launch lugs, we can get rid of some drag and that allows the rocket to fly higher and faster. I want to show you a video of a computer simulation and I got it right here. This shows um, streamlines flowing over a rocket. As you can see, they're nice and uniform, but when there are launch lugs, the, the air has to flow along, around those lugs, and when air changes directions, it creates drag, and we want to eliminate that drag. You can see in this video, with the launch lugs removed, the air is much smoother. And this is a another computer simulation showing the drag difference between a rocket with launch lugs and one without. And even though it looks like the drag is minuscule, it actually does make a big difference in the duration of the flight. So how does a rail guide work? Um, they come in different sizes for different diameter rockets and they will be matched specifically for the design, diameter that you're flying. This one here is a 3D printed version done by uh, Mayhem Rocketry. Um, I've made my own out of, out of laser cut plywood uh, for smaller rockets and these are lightweight and you want to keep the weight as low as possible because the rocket has to carry this up until it leaves the launch rod. And for a small rocket that can be significant. So we want to keep the weight down. And basically it's a cradle that fits around the rocket and it's a two-part cradle um, that will go all the way around the rocket like this. And then it slides into the launch rod, or a launch rail, not the launch rod. Um, a, a launch rail has little fingers that grip the outside and that grips this part of the launch flyaway rail guide. And then as soon as the rocket leaves the pad, a rubber band on the outside flings it open and it falls off and the rocket continues flying upward. So it's very simple to use, but you do have to use a launch rail. Uh, typically these are eight feet long. Typically they're used for high power rockets, but you can use them for small rockets too, as I'm demonstrating here. The ones that um, we sell, and this is, um, this is a kit called the Egg Tosser, and it's an egg lofter. Um, the other thing that's unique about this is the bulbous nose means that the rail guides have to be on standoffs. Um, that's what these, are, these pieces of wood right here are called. They're called the standoff, launch lug standoff. On the rail guides, on the flyaway rail guides, I, it's this little post here that acts as the standoff. Um, now these are little five-piece units and they go together really quick. You just take a little bit of glue put it on the ends oops, wrong way you have to make sure, make sure that they, they lay flat like that. Um, and then the crossbars have little notches right here. You just put a little bit of glue in them. And you glue them into their respective notches, and there's two of them.
basically just like that. Um, and then you allow the glue to dry. And then once it's dry, you'll have two pieces like this. And you only need a rubber band to activate them. And you can see right here on the end, I have a little notch where the rubber band will go into. And you push it in there, and that way it stays all together, kind of locked tight. Um, and then it will wrap around the rocket like this. Now, typically, uh, the launch, these uh, rail um, standoffs, <laughs> launch lug standoffs, won't be there on the rocket. So these will slide all the way back till they touch the fins. Um, and you don't want to start it in the middle. You want to start it as far back as possible because as the rocket takes off, if it doesn't grip very tight, it's going to slide down. And as it slides down, it could, it could hit a front of a fin and dent the fin. So if it starts at the, the edge of the fin it, to begin with as it takes off, you don't have to worry about that problem. And then again, as, as, you, as I mentioned before, you just put the little fingers right here in, onto the launch rail. And as it leaves the pad, they let go, they fall off, they, they, they land pretty close to the pad, typically within 15, 20 feet of the pad. And then after the launch, you pick them up and you fly them again. I do recommend that you paint them um, a nice bright fluorescent orange because the wooden pieces like this, they really blend in with the grass and the twigs on the ground. Um, so if you paint them a nice bright color, they're a lot easier to find. So that is the Flyaway Rail Guides. My name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Um, thank you for coming to this video. Um, we have some more videos over here on the side. Um, I think you'll like these. Uh, thanks for coming.